What's going on guys? Call sign here. Um, thought I'd throw another video together. Figured out what optic I'm going with and mount. Um, was toying around with like um, getting the Vortex Spark 2 or uh, one of the new uh, Hulu Sun Red Dots. Um, they've changed around that except um, T1 mounts. Um, I considered a T1 but I just didn't really want to spend the money on one. Just uh, there's a lot of good options out there that aren't as expensive that can really hold up. So, but uh, I stumbled across this one. This is a newer one by uh, uh, Leatherwood uh, and Hilux, um, the Micro Max B dot. Uh, not much info out on it or, or videos, but there is a lot of info out that I did some research on, and I really liked what I heard about it. Um, one big thing is is this is a battery life on this thing is 55,000 hours. It's like 6.2 years. That's fantastic. 2 MOA dot. Um, batteries. Uh, 2 comes with 2 batteries. Uh, comes with a, a a kill flash. That's a cool thing. And uh, flip up lens covers. So um, this is it right there. Uh, I went ahead and mounted it. I went with an American defense mount for this one, their auto lock mount uh, for co-witness, um, which is really nice. I, I really like their mounts. They make a great product, a uh, real sound product and uh, something that holds zero very well, even coming off and, and going back on. So, But um, American defense make really good mounts. I recommend them for anything T1 related or other optics related to. Um, as for this one, um, we'll get into the actual optic, but we can look inside the box and see what all it came with. Let's see here. Um, you got your uh, registration card, and then the manual. And even I'll show you in the manual where it shows you, gives you a little idea of their battery life. Here we go. Right where my thumb is. 55,000 hours. 6.2 years. There we go. I mean, that's impressive. That's, you know, that's aim point territory right there. So, there's a lot of red dots coming out now that that have very long uh, battery life. And they're really rugged. And like this one, uh, this one was tested by Alexander Arms for Leatherwood Hilux. Um, with um, cold weather and, and hot and, you know, just... I mean, they tested it on a, I think it was a 338 Lapua or a 308. It was a big gun, a uh, nice size round, uh, and they had zero f malfunctions or any problems with it. So, I mean, from what I've seen, this is a, a really good red dot. Um, limited lifetime warranty on it. So, uh, but from what I've heard, uh, their warranty is actually really good. So, um, As for the like, the glass and stuff, I think uh, for the electronics on it, I think they only give like a one year warranty on it or something. That's what it looks like. So, but um, give me a second. I'll put all this stuff up. We'll get into the actual optic. Uh, it comes with um, sorry, like I said, two batteries, a kill flash, cloth, blah blah blah, and a low mount. It actually, has a low mount, but I put the high mount on it. So, but give me a second. We'll get into it. Uh, get these things out of the way and we'll look at take a better look at this all right so here we have the uh, the micro uh, max B dot here on the American defense uh, uh, t1 auto lock mount uh, what's nice about these is they have a, a safety release right here you got to push it before it releases the lever if not it ain't going nowhere so that's nice. Um, really decent uh, flip ups here. Uh, the caps. I really like those. Um, good tension. Good spring in them. Um, really nice. There's that kill flash. Um, and they seal up real nice. Click down real hard. So um, That's awful nice. I mean, usually you don't get a really good um, um, 
lens caps. Usually they're pretty shabby, but these are pretty nice ones. So, but we can take those off. Don't need to keep those on. Let's pull them right off and get a better look at that kill flash. Uh, honeycomb style, of course. So, just gonna turn the dot up a little bit more if I can get an eye on it here. See if I can get you guys this. There it is. Now, that little bit of red glare, I think that's just because of the light behind me. Uh, it's not as bad when you actually look through it, but I think it's because it's got direct light right behind me, so um, it's not as bad as like the the Halo Sun or Hulu Sun or whatever you want to call them. Those have a pretty bad uh, red light in the background, but let's see how many settings we got. I think the uh, th three lowest settings are NVG compatible and high vision compatible or whatever. I see we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think 11, yeah. Um, looking through it through my eyes, there's this not a very bad starburst effect on the uh, red dot, on the, the 2MOA dot. Um, seems like a pretty good dot. Uh, very very light star bursting so that's another nice mounts up just like a T1 would four allen head screws a little bit of blue loctite and you're good to go uh, winded to elevation pretty simple if I can get them off I don't like the tethers they tend to they're not very fluent put it that way they when you're spinning, they kind of get in the way. But standard windage elevation, like I said, they get good audible clicks. I'll let you hear here. So, which is nice. And like I showed you, you can use the cap actually to adjust. You don't need any tools required to adjust it. You can just use the cap. I like how the caps are tethered too. So you ain't got to worry about losing them. <clears throat> That's nice. As for the battery, like I said, um, if you open the main compartment, you have that's where the bat main battery goes, and I'll go ahead and open it and show it to you. That's where your main battery goes, right in there. And then I'll open the secondary compartment so you can see where the where to, hold, where to hold that secondary battery. Make sure it's good and tight. Fly head out here. And you can hold your secondary <clears throat> battery right here. Stay right on. So it's got a little rubber washer that you can put right there. And, uh, kind of holds it in place. So when you're putting it on, it keeps it uh, nice and, you know, keeps it from flopping around inside of it. So I, I do like that. That's nice being able to store a secondary battery on it. Uh, good audible clicks, like I said. Very tactile feeling, so you you definitely know when you're when you're adjusting it or not. So if you have any issues, you're able to figure out if it's the buttons or not, if they're clicking or not. So all in all, though, good size, little optic, um, a little bit larger, of course, than a like an aimpoint or. Uh, Hulu Sun, uh, about the same size probably I'd say is like a spark maybe um, with these uh, uh, these shades on it right here there's a little bit of extended shades over top of it so but um, all in all I really like it I mean it's a nice optic for the money 
you can get these for right a little under two hundred dollars right now. Um, I actually got these this one from Optics Planet. So and they had it out to me with I'd say within four days. A little slow. Um, slower than I'm used to. So but um we'll get it on the rifle and show you what it looks like on the rifle. So give me a second here. So <coughs> there we have it on the rifle. Mounts up real quick and easy. I mean like super quick and easy. So boom off. And then Gotta line it up. It's kind of hard to do that to the uh, <laughs> to the camera viewfinder. There we go. And just over it tight. Let's get it locked back on. Not going anywhere. So, but um, all in all, I'm very happy with the optic and the mount. So, I think they'll do good on this gun. I just gotta go out and, and uh, zero it in, and uh, we'll be good to go. So, yeah. Get any comments? Throw it in the box. Um, questions, same thing. I answer them as fast as I can. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Um, uh, subscribe if you like my videos. I mean, that's why we do these things is get subscribers. So, uh, other than that, um, I'll catch you guys later. Call sign out.